Um, recently, we watched Equilibrium. I think I have watched this film like 20 times already. And anyway, if you never watched it, it shows a society that people are taking a drug for not having emotions. So there is not love, there is not crime, there are not personal opinions, but above all, there was a situation of an extreme form of equality. There is a scene on the movie that shows all the desks to be organized in the exact same way, aka the most efficient way, but Christian Bale has stopped taking the drug, begins to develop feelings back, and he suddenly rearranges the things on his desk, aka in a less efficient way. I suppose you know where I'm getting at, huh? In a sense, software follows a similar concept when developers create identical interfaces and applications for millions of people. And, of course, enforcing best practices till they discover the practice wasn't good enough and reforcing another one. GNOME does that more, KDE does that less, but more or less everyone does it. Apple, Google, Microsoft, some random indie developer. In fact, everyone carries it out in very much the same way that even makes quite hard to distinguish the teams behind a platform, really. Which makes me wondering, are developers assholes with strong opinions, or just lazy cunts to implement more personalization? Unfortunately, none of those. Um, let me, uh, explain, okay? Um, but before, please allow me to quickly give you some context if you're new in GNOME, alright? So, there was a time when there was a lot of nagging and arguments in the GNOME community regarding various options, like the workspaces policy, the top corner hotspots, the extensions support, or the font selection and other stuff that they were missing from GNOME settings. And that time, the GNOME community created an extra app that was exposing some additional G settings, aka the GNOME tweaks. Nowadays, these complaints are mostly gone. Many options were merged into the official GNOME settings, but not the fonts, sadly. And anyway, as I was saying, if you are new in GNOME, you might don't even know it. Which reminds me. So, this is GNOME tweaks, if you don't know? And in version 47, there is nothing new. But in 46 was been ported in GTK4 and Adwaita components. I'm still using it, you know. Mostly for changing the fonts. I believe is an awful decision from GNOME developers not letting us changing fonts from the settings. Another casual thing is missing from settings is the startup apps section that sometimes can be super frustrating. For example, when an app gets on startup and you don't have a GUI to remove it. Meanwhile, there is now another Tweaks app called Toggle. Basically, it does the exact same thing like Tweaks, reading and setting some keys from G settings. I think the only real difference is the language. Toggle is written on TypeScript and Tweaks on Python. And the slightly different UI? But do they actually help us to customize our desktop? I don't think so. Um, so, let's try to design an app that will really make us happy and will make happy everyone, okay? So Tweaks X on the first screen will prompt us to enter the feature we want. Simple interface, not dumb startup screens. Let's tell it to add HDR, okay? A normal feature request, I believe. Anywho, Tweaks X will tell us that the feature isn't available and it will ask us if we want to patch Mutter. Tweaks X will write the code in milliseconds. And yes, chief, this AI is sponsored by Temu. The point, developers are not assholes or even cunts and coding is definitely not hard. It's just that the actual human entity is stupid. In 30 years from now, people will shop brain chips from Timu, making the today us, looking like we thought the virtual reality was really virtual. But perhaps we shouldn't travel so far ahead. Maybe we'll see massive changes in open source in the next five years because of the AI. I'm not talking about code improvements, but think of this for a moment. Open source organizations are strongly relying on licenses and on large communities. Do we all agree? But with the crazy advancements of generative AI, licenses will be obsolete and communities won't be necessary anymore for achieving great things. And so, what will happen then, Chief? I guess it's time to stop caring about software, and communities should actually care for what's gonna only matter, and matter soon, the freaking hardware boss. And if you're not taking me seriously, you only need to ask yourselves this question. Can you do this? Goodbye, ye future idiots.